Hello, my name is Truman Cox and I have one of the coolest jobs on the planet. I am a professional whiskey taster. My actual title is lead chemist here at Buffalo Trace Distillery, but one of my many jobs that I do here is actually to taste and evaluate the whiskey. The big secret I try and keep from my boss is that a chemist is pretty much useless at a distillery because everything that we do is, comes down finally to the taste. The human nose and human tongue can get down to parts per trillion detection level when most electronic equipment is parts per billion or maybe even parts per billion if we're lucky. So everything that we do actually boils down to how we evaluate things by taste. So one of the things we're going to be tasting today is the Pappy Van Winkle 20 year old. Um, this is one of my favorite whiskeys we have here at Buffalo Trace. In my job we have 43 different whiskeys here at Buffalo Trace that I'm in charge of keeping all those separate flavor profiles and this is one of my favorites. The Pappy Van Winkle, the first thing you notice is a nice deep rich amber color. It is a weeded bourbon and the difference between that and most of the rye bourbons is that with wheat you think wheat bread versus rye bread, wheat starts off very sweet and um, kind of a little shallow tasting so it takes a little bit longer to really balance with the wood and the tannins that are coming from the oak barrel and as it takes a little longer we can actually stretch that age in, into the 20 and even 23 year old with the Pappy Van Winkles and get a much more rich deep flavor. At the lab we cut everything down to 40 proof at that proof, the alcohol is low enough where it's not overpowering all of the little intricacies we're looking for in the whiskey, but it's also not watering out all of those little things we're looking for. The nose on this is a, a uh, nice rich sweetness, a lot of caramel and vanilla coming through, uh, very heavy on the vanillas. As you take a nice sip. The flavor just curls around the tongue, again with that nice sweet flavor so indicative of a nice weeded whiskey. The charcoal and the uh, barrel tannins start to come through a little bit on the finish and it just hangs on the tongue for quite some time. It's quite an exquisite bourbon.